Notre gouvernement devient trop gros et trop contrôlant. Governments have gotten big and bossy. They're spending more than at any time since World War II. So they control more of what you earn, and you control less. They caused inflation. Près de 500 milliards de dollars. Ce qui gonfle les fortunes des milliardaires, la dette de nos enfants, et le coût de la vie de la classe ouvrière. Plus de la moitié des familles interrogées disent now say they struggle just to feed themselves. And more 30-year-olds live in their parents' basements because they can't afford the now typical cost of a home, $800,000. Meanwhile, a small financial elite with access to all that printed money. Pendant ce temps, la petite élite financière qui a accès à cette nouvelle monnaie imprimée achète l'immobilier pour louer à un nouveau groupe croissant de locataires permanents. Les gens qui vont peut-être jamais pouvoir acheter une maison. Face à ces injustices, using COVID as a political opportunity, the Trudeau government has attacked small businesses, truckers, and other hard-working Canadians. They target law-abiding hunters and farmers while letting gangsters and gun smugglers run free. See, here's the problem. Trudeau thinks he's your boss. He's got it backwards, and you are the boss. That's why I'm running for prime minister, to put you back in charge of your life. Together, we will make Canadians the freest people on earth, with freedom to build a business without red tape or heavy tax. Freedom to keep the fruits of your labor and share them with loved ones and neighbors. Freedom from the invisible thief of inflation. Freedom to raise your kids with your values. Freedom to make your own health and vaccine choices. Freedom to speak without fear. And freedom to worship God in your own way. See, in a free country, smaller government makes room for bigger citizens. People have room to take responsibility for themselves and each other. Neighbors care for neighbors. A job is the best anti-poverty program. And family and community are the best safety net. Now, the people with power, media, interest groups, corporate giants, government authorities, will fight tooth and nail to keep on top. So it won't be easy. But easy street leads to a dead end. And hard roads lead to the best destinations. Our destination is a Canada where the government is servant, not master. As Henley might say, you are the master of your fate. You are the captain of your soul. Ce qui en le pouvoir, le gouvernement, les médias, contrôlés par l'État, les groupes d'intérêt, les grosses corporations, vont se battre pour le garder. Ça ne sera pas facile. Mais les voies faciles ne mènent nulle part. Les voies difficiles mènent aux meilleures destinations. Notre destination est un pays où le gouvernement est le serviteur et les citoyens sont les maîtres. Comme l'aurait dit Henley, vous êtes le maître de votre destinée. Vous êtes le capitaine de votre âme.